Welcome back. You're watching SA Today with me, Unati Bagyashe. Let's continue here now. The African Union has suspended Sudan from all of its activities until the civilian-led transitional authority is restored. The AU says this week's coup in the country was unconstitutional. Demonstrations against the military takeover are continuing for a third day in the capital Khartoum. Trade unions representing doctors and oil workers say they are joining the protests. Now let's get the very latest. We joined via Zoom by Sarah Kimani, SABC News correspondent. Sarah, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Now talk to us about the wider implications of this suspension. Well, uh, the suspension means that uh, uh, the African Union says now that Sudan will not be able to take part in any of its activities. That means even if there were negotiations that were to take place, those are suspended until uh, the military hands over power to a civilian authority. Now, this is the second time that it's being suspended in less than two years. The first suspension was in 2019. And after the Transitional Government Council was formed, uh, they were uh, re admitted into the African Union in September of 2019. Now, we don't know how, this is going to, how long this is going to last because it depends on whether the military will agree to hand over power. But if you listen to yesterday's press conference uh, by uh, the military council, they are saying that uh, they did not have a civil, I mean a coup, but instead what they did is that they changed government to avoid a civil war. So it seems there is a standoff in that country, even as protesters continue to pour out onto the streets. Now, we obviously know that the U.S. has also weighed in. They also, you know, ha have sanctioned uh, Sudan further with economic measures, uh, suspending $700 million of aid to it. Uh, let's go a little bit back now and talk about the implications that this coup for both the national and regional stability has, Sarah. Well, uh, it comes at a very bad time for the region. Sudan is actually uh, the head of the regional body called IGAD. And so uh, the activities of IGAD will almost be suspended because Sudan will not be able to chair those meetings. But within IGAD, uh, Ethiopia is having conflicts in, in the Tigray region, in the Amhara region. And so meetings have been difficult to go on. Uh, between Kenya and Somalia, there have been uh, a, a tiff that has been going on for some time now, a diplomatic tiff. And so that shows that the region is now uh, very unstable. But inside uh, Sudan, these sanctions and these suspensions will mean that uh, the economic troubles that have been going on in Sudan will continue for a long time now. The civilians have been saying that they are not able to afford even the best necessities, including bread. And so these altercations will just continue uh, mm. to cause economic uh, problems for the country. Now, as a final question to you, as we've said in the introduction, you know, demonstrations going into the third day, unions protesting, representing various sectors of business, representing doctors and oil workers. Talk us, talk us, take us through uh, what is currently happening on the ground. You know, what are civilians are saying and, and what's the situation like there now? Now, some of the prominent pro-democracy organizations that led the first revolutions are the ones leading this uh, demonstrations again, but several of them have been arrested, and this uh, is uh, seen as a way of silencing them to ensure that the military can have its way. Some people even suggesting that this could be uh, a faction of the military that supports uh, former President Omar al Bashir, who was ousted in 2019, and this is seen as a way of preventing him uh, being presented to the International Criminal Court. And so it, it, we are waiting to see what will happen because on October the 30th, the Sudan's Professional Association has said that it will be bringing um, at least a million people on the streets. And with the military clamping very hard on civilians, it's likely that there will be more loss of lives. Already uh, doctors have spoken about 10 people who died on the first day of this protest. A very sad situation on the ground there. Sarah Kimani, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Of course, Sarah is SABC News correspondent, bringing us the very latest there. The African Union has suspended Sudan from all of its activities until the civilian-led transitional authority is restored.